Hi, I'm Aislinn. I own Aislinn Kate Photography here in Pensacola, Florida. We're hoping to give you some insight to help you plan the best wedding possible in terms of photographs. First looks. So most of you are probably familiar with the idea of a first look, which is a staged meeting of you and your groom before the actual ceremony. So you will be seeing each other before. Uh, this is something that is very non-traditional and has really come about in the last few years. As a photographer, I love first looks. Every photographer I know loves first looks because they really open up the schedule, which allows us to give you more of the photos that we know you guys really want from your photography. Uh, in fact, when I got married in 2005, I chose not to do a first look. I wanted to be very traditional, and that remains one of my only regrets from my wedding day, which I'll talk about in more detail in just a bit. So why not do a first look? There's really just one major reason that I hear, and that is that my brides don't want to take away from that special moment when the doors to the church open and you walk down and see each other for the first time. And I totally get that. That's why I chose not to do a first look, because I wanted that traditional reveal. However, as a photographer, the more I've shot first looks, the more I realize that those butterflies and that anticipation, they're there before a first look too. It's that seems to be created by the moment where you're just about to see each other, not by the fact that the ceremony is about to begin. So really all of those emotions are still there and you both get to experience them. You just also have the opportunity to maximize your photography by doing one. After a first look, we usually separate our bride and groom for the 30 minutes before the ceremony anyway, just logistically. And it's kind of funny how those butterflies come back. So very often my clients will experience that feeling twice, even though they've already seen their groom, and that's really fun. Privacy is sometimes a concern for, for, for first looks, wanting to keep that moment special. So I know most photographers that I know will stage a first look in a private location that also happens to be very photogenic. I know personally, I will often put my assistants at various choke points to make sure that you don't have anyone walk through while you and your groom are sharing a special moment. Uh, personally, I shoot with a telephoto lens during uh, first looks, which means I can shoot from 50 feet away from you um, and get nice close-up pictures without you knowing that I'm there. So you are able to share a moment that's private. That's something you're not able to get by waiting until the ceremony. This is particularly useful, I think, for grooms. I find that grooms are willing to show their emotion much more readily during a first look than they are in front of everyone they've ever met during their ceremony. So if those shots are important to you, his reaction, um, I think you might be happier with his reaction by doing a first look. So why should you do a first look? I mentioned it helps with scheduling, but how exactly does it do that? Well, by doing a first look before the ceremony, you open up the ability to take all of your family portraits before the ceremony starts. This means after the ceremony, you can head straight to your reception so you don't miss the first hour of a party with everyone you know who's flown in for your wedding. Also, there's family portraits, but then there's also portraits of you and your groom together. And those, unfortunately, tend to be the photos that get sacrificed when you're in a rush. If you choose not to do a first look and you fall a little bit behind schedule, what can typically happen is you have your ceremony. Immediately after the ceremony, you go straight into your family portraits. Well, if Aunt Sally wanders off to the bar or you can't find Uncle Bob and they take a little bit longer than you're expecting, those run long and the shots you don't have time to get are the shots of just the two of you together, which ultimately I think are the shots that will be the most meaningful to you in the future. That's actually what happened to me on my wedding day. I had a wonderful photographer, but because we didn't do a first look, my husband and I really only have one beautiful artistic photo of the two of us together. And I really wish that we had more of that and that could have been done had we chosen to do a first look. Also, 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 did that sound okay? Any positive feedback, suggestions?